Hello and warm welcome to everyone. I'm Katerina Boychenko representing web to learn and it's an absolute pleasure to be here with you all. As someone deeply passionate about business and entrepreneurship, I've spent the last decade dedicating myself to educating and empowering aspiring entrepreneurs through my training course Creating Your Own Business. Over these years, I've had the uh, privilege of witnessing countless individuals transform their visionary ideas into successful ventures. My journey has been incredibly rewarding, teaching me that the essence of entrepreneurship lies not just in sound business concepts, but also in the courage to take risks and the resilience to overcome challenges. Today, as we gather in this dynamic environment, I look forward to sharing insights and learning from each of you. Whether you are at the beginning of your entrepreneurial journey or looking to scale new heights, remember that every step you take is a leap towards realizing your dreams. Let's embark on this exciting path of discovery, growth and innovation together. I'm eager to see the unique ideas you bring and how you will shape them into thriving businesses. Here is the journey filled with learning, inspiration and, above all, a celebration of the entrepreneurial spirit. Thank you for being a part of this incredible venture. Hello everyone, my name is Svetlana Basarab and I am a business practitioner with quite significant experience. For over 15 years I worked in the largest Ukrainian banks, was a member of a bank supervisory board and a credit committee with my own credit authority. In addition, my career includes six major companies where I held leadership positions and of course sometimes had to make very difficult management decisions. However, five years ago I decided to try something new and even experimented with teaching at a university. Realizing that today's education requires more creative teaching methods, I started creating business games to share my knowledge and practical skills. And today, I want to introduce my favorite game, which I created. It is called Start From Here, and is dedicated to starting a startup or launching a new business. At the same time, it turned out to be quite universal and interesting, even for experienced professionals. Many of them, through this game, looked at their business ideas from a different perspective. And since this game involves exchanging thoughts among players, each participant received feedback on their idea. And I think that is the most valuable thing for a business idea. I hope this game will be useful for you as well. And the exchange of thoughts within your audience will help you gain support from your colleagues and perhaps a new perspective on your ideas. So, here is the cover for the online version of this game. Today we're not just playing online, but in a combo, online and video format. So you have the opportunity to see an example of how to complete the game tasks online. And you can take your time to think over your task while watching the video as many times as you need. I know for sure that you will return to your thoughts more than once because the goal of this game is to create a clash of ideas, then choose the best one. So, I have told you about myself and now I propose to get to know you and we will do it in a quite interesting manner. You have to tell about yourself thanks to the formula of your readiness for entrepreneurship. Here it is. According to this formula, I, Svetlana, consist of 30% adventurism, 40% self-confidence, 20% laziness, because we can't do without it, 40% creativity, 50% knowledge about business, and 35% influence of instability. Maybe this percentage was different at the start of the war, but today I said so. So, according to this formula, you need to distribute all your entrepreneurial qualities and influencing factors in such a way to get 100% of some conditional readiness for entrepreneurship. But both qualities and factors can be different from mine. 
It's your creative approach to evaluating your personality. And note that we add all chosen positive qualities and factors, while negative ones, on the contrary, are subtracted. Now I propose Katarina to evaluate herself. You have one minuteris, and I am starting the timer. Yes, today I will be playing the role of one of the game's participants. We recommended that you join the game and leave your own answers. How to do this? It's very simple. There is a link under this video to a virtual board where we can learn more about each other. By following the link, you can see my example. Fill in your sticker. Let's get acquainted. For example, I would say that I'm 60% adventure plus 70% confidence minus 20% uh, laziness plus 80% creativity plus 50% business knowledge and minus 10% instability. So you can do the same. Fill in your information in your sticker. Or, of course, you can pause the video and uh, fill in your sticker. Or shall we continue? Great. Now, I suggest the same to all our off-camera players. Think about your formulas. And better yet, share in our communication chat, which Katerina will tell you more about because maybe the formulas of other players will inspire you to develop new entrepreneurial qualities. So, now we move on to the first stage of our game, called Maiden of Ideas. Why Maiden? Because the setting of my game is horse racing, and in the language of jockeys, races involving young horses are called Maiden. At this stage of the game, we need to create some new idea. Note that you may already have your idea, but there's nothing stopping us from creating another one. Maybe it will be something creative that will push you to a new view of your idea. At the same time, don't be afraid of the absurdity of your idea. The more creative it is, the more chances it has to survive in these not fully sane realities. Also, importantly, ideally your idea should answer three questions. What do you want to do? Who will use it? And why should they use it? And now, Katerina, your chance to be creative with the Maiden of Ideas card. Choose a card. I choose card number one. Now I open this card. Here it is. Hmm. Hook for ideas. Interesting. So let's read this card. A good business idea should elicit an emotional response from a potential customer. But at the same time, it's crucial for it to trigger its creator as well. Triggers are like activating hooks, setting something into motion. And if you don't have any ready-made ideas yet, try triggering yourself. To do this, there are three main steps. The first step, identify something you dislike doing and would certainly not pursue as a business. The second step, name something that brings you pleasure and could become your favorite activity. And the last one, the third step, point out what you consider to be your shortcoming for starting a business. Now. Plug all this into the formula. How can the first step help me in the second step despite the third step? Try to craft a business idea out of this concoction. You have three minutes to solve it. And I start the timer. Time is ticking.
So, Katrina, are you ready? Absolutely. So, I don't like cleaning, but a door interior design. My flaw sometimes I lack patience. If we combine this, then maybe some designer panels made of recycled plastic that are easy to clean and change. And these designer panels should be not only beautiful but also ecological and make life easier for those who don't want to spend time cleaning. How do you like it? Listen, this is brilliant. An idea that combines sustainability, practicality and your personal interests. In a word, truly innovative thinking. Thank you, Katerina. Now I suggest our off-camera players think about your hook for ideas formula and write about your ideas for this card in our communication channel. So, while we move on to the next stage of the game, called Handicap of Ideas, Analogous to the first stage, its name comes from horse racing terminology. In the language of jockeys, handicap races involve horses that won at the maiden stage, and their jockeys are balanced in weight to make the race conditions equal for all. It's the most popular type of race, where future favorites and race leaders emerge. And we will create winning ideas. Katarina, choose the next card from Handicap of Ideas. So, I choose card number two. All right, opening it. Ride yourself off the bed. Hmm. Eric Hofer asserts that the foundation of mass movements is not the message, make yourself even better. But, read yourself off the bed. By the way, this is the principle upon which religion is built and potentially a startup as well. For instance, barbershop windows often display portraits of people with good haircuts. Passerby uh, admire them the, and move on. But what if those portraits were placed with photos of overgrown or badly cut hair, with the caption, 10 signs your hairstyle looks terrible. And in the middle of the window, a mirror, where every passerby can look and see that their hairstyle might indeed be terrible. So, identify the negatives from which humanity can be freed thanks to your idea. And how many items did you come up with? Well, I'm starting the timer. You have three minutes.
So, Katerina, are you ready? Of course. So, first of all, my idea will rid people of plastic waste. It's like a bad haircut for our planet. Secondly, it will take the headache out of cleaning, never having to wash walls from stains. And finally, forget about boring interiors. Changeable panels offer endless possibilities for creativity and self-expression. I already see the advertisement. 10 signs that your home needs a change. And in the mirror, your current interior is reflected compared to the bright module designs of our panels. If this doesn't make passerby stop, I don't know what will. Katerina, your approach is excellent. Look, you not only identified the bad, but also turned it into a creative stimulus for change. I think our participants are thrilled with how you turned this task to your business idea's advantage. Great job. Now let's suggest to our other participants to turn their pains into strengths for their startups using this card. And don't forget to share your thoughts with us in the communication channel. And meanwhile, let's move on to the next stage of our game, where we need to choose a business model for our idea. If not to delve into theory, then your business model should answer four questions. What, who, why, and how much? However, we should have answered the first three questions in our idea and the last one in the business model, which means how your idea will generate income for you. There are 55 models in the game, and usually I suggest playing up to five cards. But now we don't have much time, so I will open one. So Katerina, choose your card. I choose card number one. All right, opening it. Oh, the razor and blade model. So let's read this usage example on the card. To boost its sales, the Gillette company made a clever more. They gifted their razors to military institutions and universities. These institutions, in turn, were forced to purchase blades for these razors. Three years after this campaign, more than 100 34 million blades had been sold. The business became so successful that protecting just one Gillette Fusion blade required over 70 patents. Incredible. Well, you have three minutes to come up with and adapt this model to your project. Starting the timer.
Katerina, are you ready? Um, well, I imagine it. We can give some basic modular panels, particularly for designing a single wall in some office. And along with this module, we can offer some additional elements like lightning, interactive panels or sensory surfaces to make them more attractive and sell them at full price. And then we can talk about the sharp blades of our profit. Maybe we'll even introduce a subscription for exclusive designs uh, from uh, famous artists. If that's not a refined strategy, then I'm not a Katerina. That's just genius. I'm impressed. I suggest the other participants think about the razor and blade model and post your responses in the communication chat. And here we come to the fourth stage, which may be crucial for the future startup, working with investors. And here, as in any good detective story, we need to find the keys to the investor's heart. Each of them has their triggers that can lead to a positive response to your proposal. And today I suggest you play detectives and find the trigger points of investors. And as an investor, work with the genius in sneakers card. This is one of the seven types of investors considered in the game. But in my opinion, this type is the most popular today in the context of attracting investments. Katerina, how do you like this investor? I like working with that. Uh, so we have our interesting card, Genius in Sneakers, active and passionate youth from the millennial and zenial generations for whom finding money is not a particular challenge since they have IT technologies, social media and the internet at their disposal, often without entrepreneurial experience, but with a strong desire to create something of their own, even if it means facing failures and mistakes. <laughs> Katerina, you have three minutes to find the trigger points of this investor. Time starts. Now.
Katerina, are you ready? Okay, hold on. Right. Uh, if Genius in Sneakers is our investor, then we need to speak their language. First, they are looking for innovation. So we emphasize our technological novelty. Second, uh, they want to be part of something bigger. So we will talk about our mission to change the world uh, of interior design. And third, they live on social networks. So we will offer investors joint live streams of interior design in real time. And <laughs> if doesn't work, we can always release a limited series of uh, sneakers with our designer sketches. <laughs> well done. You not only found the trigger points, but also proposed creative ways to activate them. This will definitely catch the attention of genius in sneakers. Now, I suggest that all our behind the scenes participants take these trigger points to heart and perhaps find others. But in any case, you must write a letter of appeal to the genius in sneakers in which you will formulate your business idea and touch on all his trigger points. At the same time, remember, creativity is the key to success and we will determine the best letter of appeal. It will determine the winner of this game. By the way, the winner will receive an artifact card, which will help make the idea even more creative. Thank you, Katerina, and thank you to everyone who participated in this masterclass. It was great work, and I hope this game was useful in finding creative ideas. I wish everyone innovation, creativity, and of course, successful investments. And if you wish to play a full game or write your feedback on this video, write to my address or to Katerina's or in the communication chat. Thank you all. See you again. Hello, everyone. I'm Dr. Francisco Jose Molina Castillo, Food Professor in the Department of Management and Finance at the University of Murcia. My academic journey began with a degree in Business Administration and Management followed by an honors degree in accounting and finance in Europe from Manchester Metropolitan University. Over the years, I have dedicated my teaching expertise covering a spectrum from undergraduate to doctoral studies across various faculties. I've also been a guest lecturer at numerous universities in Spain and abroad, contributing to international academia. In my more than two decades of professional activity, I have collaborated with many companies across Europe, public administration, organized international conference, and contributed to scientific dissemination articles. My research focuses on innovation and new technologies, particularly in launching new products and designing innovative business models. In the next minute, I will explain you a website that was created through a European project that I had the opportunity to collaborate with. I hope these insights will help you to move beyond the idea and transform into an appealing business model that can compete worldwide. Good luck. I'm excited to share with you the transformative capabilities of the businessmakeover.eu platform, a powerful tool designed to support small and medium enterprises in designing and optimizing their business models. In the next few minutes, I will give you eight reasons why this platform could be very valuable for creating or improving your business models. One, business model design. At the core of businessmakeover.eu, it is a robust business model design feature. The platform guides entrepreneurs through a structured process, helping them to define the key elements such as value proposition, customer segment, revenue streams, and cost structure. These interactive tools ensure that businesses have a clear and comprehensive understanding of their model, laying a solid foundation for success. Two. Tailor support for SMEs. Unlike a generic business tool, businessmakeover.eu recognizes the unique challenge faced by SMEs. This platform tailors its guidance to the specific need and characteristic of small and medium enterprises, ensuring practical and actionable insights that are directly relevant to their context. 3. Collaborative approach. One standard feature of the platform it is collaborative approach. Business owners can involve their teams in their process, fostering a culture of innovation and collective problem solving. 
This is not only to enhance the quality of decision making, but also to create a shared vision among the team members, promoting alignment and commitment. 4. Expert insight and best practices. To further enrich the user experience, businessmakeover.eu incorporates expert insight and best practices gathered from diverse industries. Drawing on a wealth of knowledge, the platform provides real-world examples such as case studies and success stories, offering a valuable lessons that can inspire and guide entrepreneurs on the journey. 5. Continuous improvement. Recognizing that business landscape evolves, this platform supports continuous improvement. Users can revisit and refine their business model as circumstances changes, ensuring adaptability in dynamic markets. This iterative process aligns with the reality that successful businesses are those that embrace, change, and are responsive to emerging opportunities and challenges. 6. Networking opportunities. BusinessMakeover.eu goes beyond a mere tool. It fosters a community. This platform facilitates networking opportunities, allowing entrepreneurs to connect with like-minded individuals, share experiences, and potentially form collaboration. This collaborative after extends the platform impact beyond the digital realm, creating a supportive ecosystem for business growth. 7. Multilingual accessibility. Understanding the global nature of businesses, this platform is designed with multilingual accessibility. This ensures that entrepreneurs from diverse linguistic backgrounds can leverage the platform resources effectively, breaking down language barriers and promoting inclusivity. Finally, A. Case studies and success stories. To inspire and motivate users, businessmakeover.eu features a repository of case studies and success stories. These real-world examples showcase how businesses, similar to theirs, have overcome challenges and achieved success through effective business model design and optimizations. In conclusion, Business Makeover is more than a platform. It is a dynamic ecosystem dedicated to empowering SMEs. By providing tailored support, fostering collaboration, and incorporating expert insights, this platform equips entrepreneurs with the tools they need to thrive in today's competitive business landscapes. Whether you are starting a new venture or seeking to revitalize one at 61, businessmakeover.eu is your partner in business transformation. And a huge thanks to all our participants for engaging so enthusiastically in today's session. It's been an inspiring journey of creativity and innovative thinking. Remember, the world of entrepreneurship is vibrant and ever-evolving and your unique ideas have the potential to make a significant impact. I encourage you all to continue refining your ideas using the tools and insights gained today. Stay curious, stay inspired, and most importantly, stay connected with us and each other through our communication channels. We are excited to see where your entrepreneurial adventures lead you. Until next time, keep innovating and keep dreaming big. Best wishes to each of you in your ventures, and we can't wait to hear more about your progress and success. Until next time, Keep sparking new ideas and turning them into reality. Good luck!